Welcome back to the Crypto Clown World channel. It is the 21st of March, 2023. And I uh, just want to kick this off by apologizing to everybody for not providing timely updates over the last few days. I have been sick. I am still trying to get over whatever this was. And uh, just do want to thank you for jumping back in with me. So with that in mind, I am going to be bringing you a quick Bitcoin update this morning. And uh, my name is Jason Bruce, your host with the Honks here at Crypto Clown World. Uh, I do ask you if you're just joining this channel for the first time, make sure that you're honking that like button. Get subscribed to this channel and hit the bell for notifications as we will be bringing you more of this content in the future. And with that in mind, I want to kick it over to the Bitcoin CME futures price this morning. Okay. And right now, and this was actually unbeknownst to me, um, I had not taken a look at futures over the last couple days, but it looks like we have actually filled this CME gap at about 28,785-ish. Um, 28,715 was the high on the candle on the CME futures. So the question here right now is, do we come back down and fill this small gap right here? Okay, this gap in price action was created over the past weekend when the price pumped from 27,000 up to that 28.7 range. So will we see that gap filled and will we see a retest of the 200 weekly moving average? Or will we see Bitcoin price continue to pump up to the next gap with a top around $35,000? Okay, let's see if we can get some clues as to what might happen here. If we take a look at this one hour time frame, the Stochastics RSI is just moving into a position of trying to gain strength here in the neutral territory, pointed upwards. Um, looks pretty strong for the start of the morning and what we're seeing here is kind of a tight channel on the RSI so this represents even some possible consolidation here so I would look for a break of this flag on the RSI to try and determine direction and we may be seeing that already with these candles here however Bitcoin did attempt a bit of a breakout and it looks like it's losing momentum on this seven minute time frame. All right. So again, do we see price come back down and fill this gap or even come back down to this level here on the VRVP as we do have this gap in volume? All right. So the seven minute does look to be rolling over a little bit. Zoom out just a little bit on the 15. The 15 is trying to lose it as well right now. Okay. So, you know, when we look at this flag here, it looks pretty symmetrical. Typically, that should be a continuation pattern, given that we've already established an uptrend. And what this would really give us is a pretty nice target if we were actually to get a break out of this flag. It would take us pretty close up to where this gap is at, around 33.6. So I would think if Bitcoin got up there, it would fill that gap, you know, after some potential consolidation. So that's kind of what I'm seeing for Bitcoin here. Either this flag breaks upwards and we launch into that $30,000 territory or we get a quick retest of this 200 weekly. If that 200 weekly can't hold, then we're looking at some lower levels and probably this point of control here, this next high volume node, which may even be as low as $22,000, okay? There is uh, some strong support here just below 
is 200 weekly however at the confluence of this consolidation so you may see price hold at 24,850 or even this 23.9 area if those levels do happen to get broken on the downside right now I think there is less danger of that this does seem to be a consolidation pattern and an uptrend here but we may still get this retest short term of at least this smaller gap in price which is around that $27,000 area and potentially a little lower to this 25 let's call it 25.5 area so I wouldn't want to see a four hour candle close below 25.5 if we did we'd be looking at levels lower around 24.4 23.9 and 22.4 so that's a story for the bitcoin futures this morning i'm gonna jump over to the es1 s p e-mini futures actually been looking pretty strong um, yeah this looks pretty solid so the s p is holding support right now above four thousand and we may see a little bit of a retest of that level this morning or even a retest of the 200 daily and this point of control which is at around 3949 3946 area all right so what i am kind of seeing here though potentially my mouse is giving me problems here or what but let's kind of just look at it like that if my dots will agree with me here so I'd kind of look at it like that there's this potential inverse head and shoulders here and we may be seeing like the retest of that neckline right now. I don't know what my mouse is doing here. I don't know if this is trading view doing this or if it's just actually the mouse that's malfunctioning. I promise my hands are more steady than that. Okay, so I would just look for a retest of this neckline. If we get a nice retest on that, S&P should get a nice bounce this morning. Another thing that I'm looking at short term here, DXY is looking like an absolute dumpster fire. Looks to be breaking this flag here. Okay. All right. So. We are seeing this breakdown right now. It's severely oversold on the seven minutes. So let's just kick out a little bit. It's this 24 minute time frame. I'll take that measured move there. dollar may drop another 50 cents uh, just intraday here so it doesn't look strong uh, you know typically this falling type of a pattern you would look at that as you know having some type of a bullish bias or would at least try to retest this point of control which is probably like right around the 0.618 fib but this thing needs to actually find a bottom first. So hopefully the dollar stays weak this morning. Bitcoin stays strong. And see if we're finding any support here on this seven minute time frame. Probably not quite yet. 
Okay. So spot price is just flirting with that 28,000 level. It's gonna take a quick look at Ethereum. Ethereum price action, pretty similar to Bitcoin. Just trying to gain a little bit of momentum. Zoom out just a little bit here. Did bump into some resistance at that 99 EMA. There's a point of control up here. That price may gravitate towards that and break out of that EMA. That's around 1777. Pull out to the two hour here. Something I'd like to point out. Looks like we're building up a bit of bullish divergence here. Just a little bit of bullish divergence there. Um, so we can see that right there at the end of that pattern. And then we take a closer look here. What do we have? This looks like hidden bullish divergence. So we're actually showing hidden bullish divergence on this two hour time frame. Where you can see this swing low is lower than this swing low. And this swing low on the RSI is actually slightly higher than this swing low. Okay. And it is, it is slight, but this is still a bullish divergence. So that does have to be heated up to the next resistance level. And the way this price action is playing out right now, I think there's a likelihood that Ethereum at least gravitates towards this upper Bollinger Band, potentially even towards this spider line here uh, before potentially choosing a trend direction. So, let's see if Bitcoin finds support this morning or if maybe altcoins are gonna run. Because Ethereum's looking a little stronger than Bitcoin, perhaps. Let's take a look at the two hour for Bitcoin. And we do actually have a hidden bullish divergence here, I believe. Let's take a look here. Yeah, we're showing hidden bullish divergence for Bitcoin on the two hour as well. It may be that it pumped up to resistance here as it looks like this was a retest of this spider line of this larger rising wedge. So we do have to keep an eye on that. Does that turn into a denial here? If it does, the measured move on that takes you right down to this 200 weekly, okay? takes you right down to that 25, 4, 25, 5 level. All right. But I honestly do, from what I'm looking at, think that Bitcoin has a chance to rally on these smaller time frames this morning. So let's keep an eye on that. We'll see how that goes. Just want to flip out real quick on the daily before I let you guys jump. There is potentially a slight hidden bearish divergence there. And I mean very slight. Okay. So what we really just want to see is this candle pump above the body of these other two. So I would say if we can get a daily close above 21 or 28.1, excuse me, I think Bitcoin will make that next leg up here. All right. Uh, we are making these higher lows. Okay. So continuing to make higher lows on the daily. And if we take a look at how the week closed. week really just kind of looks odd so this is actually technically a green candle even though it's engulfed by this other one once again I just want to see a daily candle above 28.1 and Bitcoin's gonna take off at least to this top spider line which could constitute prices into the $30,000 range okay 
There are a lot of people that are getting bearish still. Um, there are people that are looking for shorts. You may be able to scalp short this morning. I just don't see the benefit of the risk of shorts at this point in the market when we've had this trend shift. Because you're asking to get hung out to dry unless you're using, you know, very small size and very acute risk management. So you could look for this gap to fill this morning. You know, there's uh there's no reason to think this gap won't fill uh, sooner rather than later. It would also be a retest of this point three eight two fib. All right. So it may just be that you'll see a downside fake out, fill of the gap, and then move back above this pattern here. So just keep an eye on the consolidation here. The stochastics RSI is still trying to build strength on this one hour time frame. So don't let the smaller time frames fool you when you've still got some momentum on the one hour to help carry you. All right. So that's where we're going to leave off for Bitcoin. I just want to check the four hour again real quick. We're going to be getting a four hour close here shortly. This isn't the strongest looking picture right now. So maybe the four hour has to reset now as well. Um, I like the fact that we're not seeing any bearish divergence here on the four hour. So that may allow of a healthy reset, which, you know, when I look at this, uh, would probably fall in this area between the middle Bollinger Band and the 99 EMA, which is smack dab in the middle at the 200 weekly moving average. So if you are uh, looking at a short, if you're getting really itchy about making a play right now, you may be able to open one up to around that 25.5 area, not financial advice. Uh, please keep in mind, nothing that we say or do on this channel should be construed as financial advice. Please get yourself a financial advisor and do your own due diligence before getting into any coin project or trade. My name is Jason Bruce. Thank you for joining us here on Crypto Clown World. If you haven't, on the way out, please honk the like button, make sure you're subscribed, and click the bell for notifications so that we can bring you this content in the future. I do thank you, God bless you, and make sure you have a fantastic Tuesday.